Hello everyone, this is Lamin Sane of LS Web Apps and in this series, I'm going to do a slightly in-depth um, focus on um, Gulp.js. I already did a video wherein I touched on um, introductory um, principles of Gulp.js but in this um, series, I want to go a little bit in-depth and cover stuff like compiling SAS um, whereas in the other video, I just did JavaScript and um, just the basic of installing Gulp. So here, we're just going to do more um, stuff like um, compiling SAS and ES6 which is the latest version of JavaScript and um, slightly a lot more stuff like um, scripts depending on each other okay and the order of um, flow of scripts okay so in this first video let's see how we can install Gulp so Gulp.js um, you can install it both locally and globally and um, even though you don't need to install it globally but it makes your life a lot more easier so I'm just going to assume that you will so to install Gulp um, globally, just uh, make sure that you have Node.js and npm installed because that's what Gulp requires. So go to your terminal and just type npm install, type dash g to say global and say Gulp dash cli. The global version of Gulp is called Gulp cli. So just install that. You can type that in any folder you want. Okay, so that has installed globally. And uh, now, just go in the folder that you want to start your Gulp project and type npm in it. And what that does is it creates a package.json file for you. So if I do an ls here, this is an empty folder, but let's do npm in it. And um, just keep pressing enter. Um, right now, we're not focused on what this means. Just pick the defaults and press enter for every question you're asked. And then at the last part, just type yes. It says, is this okay? So I'm going to press enter for yes. And now when I do an ls, we'll have a package.json. Mm. So let me open that in my Atom editor by doing dot forward slash. And as you can see, it's open here. And if I open it, um, you will see that it has all these things that um, NPN init has put in there for us. So now let's install Gulp locally. Okay, as you can see now in this um, Gulp.js in-depth uh, folder, there's no NPM uh, packages. But if we do NPM install, um, dash dash save dev and then we just do gulp what that's going to do is it's going to add gulp to the list of the packages here and it's going to install it locally so i press enter now let's see what happens and as you can see gulp has been installed successfully and now we have these node modules here with all the gulp.js packages that it needs and right down here you have gulp okay so and it also went ahead and added gulp to our dev dependencies okay so now just come here in your um, terminal and just type gulp it will say that there is no gulp file found so we're gonna have to make that so um come to your text editor and create a gulp file.js so i'm gonna do gulp file G U L P file e .js. So this is where you put all your gulp.js configurations. Okay, so now let's type gulp again. Still, nothing will happen. It will say task default is on it your gulp file. So if you have watched my previous gulp video, you will know that you need at least a default task in every gulp file.js. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to import gulp. So we say var gulp equals to let's require that so let's say gulp so now we can do gulp dot task okay let's do a dot here and then we're going to name that default so you give the first um, argument as the name of the task so in this case default and then you pass in a function as the second argument what that's going to do is anything inside here will be run when this task is run so let's just do a console.log let's say default task okay so how Gulp works is you type Gulp and then the name of the task. But when it comes to default, you don't have to give the name because obviously it is the default task. So we can just do Gulp. And what that will do is going to say starting um, default and then it's going to run what is inside the function you pass. In this case, console.log. But we can also do Gulp default, even though it's not necessary and it will produce the same output. So let's create another task. Let's do Gulp.task. Let's say scripts. Okay, so let's do inside here and then log, so console.log um, scripts task. Okay, so to run this second task that we created, all we need to do is say gulp 
and then give the name of the um, task as the second um, first argument so let's do scripts press enter and as you can see it ran what was inside the function and then it outputted scripts task okay so that's how you create gob tasks and run them and um, in the next video let's see how we can create dependent tasks on each other and i thank you for watching i hope you're excited for this in-depth um, gob.js course and um, i'll see you soon cheers bye bye